Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use beam search algorithm in artificial intelligence to find an optimal path from the initial node to the goal node with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given uh, this graph. In this case, uh, we have been given uh, this graph where S is the initial state and G is the goal state here. For simplicity, only edge weights are used for evaluating each and every node. That is, uh, f of n is equal to g of n in this case. Sometimes uh, f of n is equal to h of n may be given. That is nothing but uh, each and every node is evaluated using uh, heuristic values. Sometimes uh, we may use both. That is, f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n. In this case, we are using only g of n. That is nothing but the edge weights here. A beam width of beta is equal to 2 is given. The meaning of this one is uh, at a given point of time, if we have more than uh, two successors, we will select only top two successors and then uh, we will continue from there onwards. So that is the meaning of uh, beam width of beta is equal to 2 in this case. Now we will apply the step by step procedure and then uh, we will find an optimal path from the initial state to the goal state here. The initial state is S here. What we do is we will create a tree with the initial node that is nothing but S. And then we will add this S to the close list. That is the first thing we do. And what is the G of N or G of S? G of S is equal to 0 because from S to S the true cost is equal to 0 in this case. And uh, the node which is reachable from S is what? From S, we can reach only I in this case. So, that is what we have added in node data structure. That is I and its cost is equal to 6 here. Now, what we do is uh, because S has uh, only one adjacent node or the reachable node, there is no point in selecting uh, uh, the top 2 or something like that. In this case, beta is equal to 2. The meaning is we need to select a top 2. But here, uh, as there is only one node, what we need to do is we need to select that node and then we will add that to the tree here. Now, we need to find all adjacent nodes to this i. How many adjacent nodes are there? For i, n is the first adjacent node, h is the second one, c is the third one here. For each of these, we need to calculate the uh, true cost here. That is nothing but for n, you can see here, n can be reached from s to i and i to n. Uh, that is S to I is 6 here, 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. So, that is what I have written here. Similarly, for H, H is 6 plus 8, that is 14. And for uh, C, 6 plus 31, that is 37. That is what I have written in this uh, data structure. Now, what we need to do? We need to select top two nodes because beta is equal to 2 here. So, what are the top two nodes in this case? N and H. So, we will add those two things to the tree and n and h will be added to close list over here. This is how the tree will look like once we add n and h in this case. Now, once you add n and h to the tree, what we need to do is from n and h, we need to find all the adjacent nodes. From n, there is only one adjacent node that is L. So, we need to find the cost of L. Uh, to find the cost of L, how did we reach this L here? S to i, i to n. The cost to reach n is already known to us. That is 13 here. Now, 13 plus 18, which is equivalent to uh, 31 in this case. That is what I have added into this uh, data structure. From H, there are uh, two reachable nodes are there. One is K, another one is F here. Up to H, that is S to I and I to H, the cost is 14 here. 14 plus 5, that is equivalent to 19. That is the cost of F here. And for k, 14 plus 33, that is nothing but 37 plus 10, that is 47. That is what I have added here. Now, once you add all these things in node data structure, we need to find the top two nodes. Uh, in this case, uh, f and l are the top two nodes. f is coming from uh, h here and l is coming from uh, n in this case. f is uh, reachable. F is adjacent to H and L is adjacent to N in this case. So, once we add those two things to the search tree, the search tree will look something like this. Again, we have to add L and F to this uh, close this here. Now, we need to find all adjacent nodes from L and F. So, L is present here and F is uh, present here. From L, there is only one reachable node that is C. 
of L, the cost is known to us. What is that? 31. That is nothing but 6 plus 7 plus 18. That is equal to 31. Plus this 9. That is equal to for this C, we got the cost as equal to 40 in this case. Now, from F, uh, we need to find the adjacent nodes. Uh, the adjacent nodes are L here, M here, and G. These are the three adjacent nodes are there. Up to M, the cost is equal to 19. 19 plus 35, that is equal to 54 for L. That is what I have written here. For M, 19 plus 11, that is 30. And for G, 19 plus 22, that is 41. That is what I have written here. Again, we need to find the top two nodes. What are the top two nodes in this case? M and C. So, M is reachable from here. M is reachable from F. And C is reachable from L in this case. Now, we need to add those two things to this uh, search tree. The search tree will look something like this. Now, uh, we need to find all reachable nodes from C and M. From C, we don't have any reachable nodes. From M, we have one reachable node that is G. So, what is the cost of G now? Up to M, we have 30 as the cost and uh, from M to G, the cost is 16. So, 30 plus 16 is equal to 46. That is what we have added here. Now, what we need to do? We need to select top two nodes. Right now, we have only one. So, we have to select it because we don't have any other option in this case. Now, we will select this uh, G and uh, we will add it to search tree. The search tree will look something like this because G is reachable from here. This G is reachable from M. So, that's the reason I have added it here. Again, uh, we will try to expand C and G here. We don't have any successors or the adjacent nodes for C. From G, we don't have again any uh, adjacent nodes and G is the goal node. The meaning of this one is what? We have reached the goal node here. So, because we have reached the goal node, we have to stop here. We need to find the final path. The final path is nothing but S to I, I to H, H to F, F to M, M to G here. So, that is what I have drawn with red color here. And what is the cost of this uh, path? The cost of this path is equal to 46. The meaning of this one is uh, the optimal uh, cost uh, from initial node to goal node is 46 in this case. So, in this video, I have discussed uh, how can we apply beam search algorithm in artificial intelligence for the given graph to find the optimal path as well as the optimal cost from initial state to goal state here. I hope the concept of beam search algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.